Despite months of buildup, you may not get the chance to have a voice when it comes to recreational marijuana this November election. Thank you for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Roly Hoyt. The process of getting an issue onto the ballot in Arkansas is a tough one in recent years. State lawmakers have made changes to refine the process, but as thousands of supporters of recreational marijuana found out yesterday, that process still has its pitfalls. So with that in mind, THV 11's Ian Russell gives us a refresher on how the ballot process works now in our state and what comes next. For past elections, the people behind a certain issue would write up an initiative and bring it to the Attorney General's office. From there, the AG would either approve it or send it back for changes. Once the initiative got approval from the AG, then it was time to collect signatures and take them to the Secretary of State's office to certify them. Now, that was the old way to get something on the ballot, but state lawmakers changed that process a few years ago. Now you bring everything all at once, but your ballot initiative now goes to the State Board of Election Commissioners, a seven-person panel no longer the Attorney General and you also need to have your signatures ready for the Secretary of State. If your ballot proposal gets approval, then great, your issue ends up on the ballot. But here's where this has the biggest impact. If there are problems with your initiative, there is no going back for revisions. You can take it to the Arkansas Supreme Court, but if they rule no, then you have to start all over again. And there may not be enough time to do that in time to get it on the November ballot. Could it be better if it was moved a different time? Sure, but I'm not in the legislature. I don't have that control. Attorney Chris Madison is the legal counsel for the Election Commission. He says he knows an appeal over recreational marijuana is possible. I gave my business card to the attorneys for the different sides and said, when you file your lawsuit, let me know. I'll accept service. It's another potential step in the process of getting an issue on the ballot. And you might think a lawsuit isn't a good thing. Madison would disagree. In fact, while there's more work for those behind an issue to do, he says this way is arguably better. So you're spending a lot of state resources and time on something that's never going to change the ball. Whereas here, you push the responsibility on the petitioner to work on getting it right. Scott Harden at the Department of Finance says it may be too soon to tell if this change process is actually better. The process can work, and we've seen that happen with everything over the last few years and uh, medical marijuana and then the casino amendment passed in 2018 along with many other items. So um, it can work. Now it's a waiting game to see if any ballot issues that got denied will head to the state Supreme Court. If not, the process starts all over again. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be finding out a lot here over the next month or so. In Little Rock, Ian Russell, THV 11 News. Ian, thank you. The lawyer for Responsible Growth Arkansas, the group behind the Recreational Marijuana Initiative, told us they do plan to appeal to the state Supreme Court.